What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC. Today we're taking a look at another of my Blade Show Atlanta pickups, the Chavez Knives Chubb Out the Front Auto. And this knife has been a long time in the works. It first became available to their Facebook group members, the Chavez Knife Group, as the 2023 group knives. Now that was a limited edition and appearance-wise matched the previous group knives, but otherwise was identical. So it's gonna look a little bit different, but everything else is gonna be the same. And orders for that one took place at the end of 2023. So these just ended up delivering a couple months ago. First opportunity to grab one outside of the group, or if you just missed out on that group order, was at Blade Show Atlanta where I picked mine up. Now it does seem like they're scaling up for that wide scale retail release any day now because we're starting to see listings for these pop up on the various retailers, which is usually a pretty good indication that they'll be dropping soon. Although I don't have a specific date, I would imagine that's gonna happen in the next week or so. Now in terms of pricing on these, $300, so definitely spendy for your utility knife, but you are getting an American made Chavez knife out the front auto, which is very cool. Inevitably on these utility knife videos, I get comments comments about the Milwaukee Fastback. Yes, I'm aware it exists. Yes, I own one. Not going to try and justify whether that price is worth it. It's really up to the individual and your price threshold, how cool you think this knife is. Clearly, I was willing to purchase it at that price point, but again, really going to be up to you. Now, in terms of the knife itself, we have an aluminum body, which looks great, available in a ton of different colors. This one has the crosshatch pattern, and I got, I think this is called the teal colorway, but don't quote me on that. There was two blues that were very similar, so I may be misattributing it, the teal to this one and the other one's teal, so definitely take a look at the pictures before ordering blindly on that one. Small footprint, especially in this closed position, three and a half inches long by about an inch and a quarter wide. We're looking at half an inch thick and weighs in, at least mine weighed in with the blade installed at 3.46 ounces. We have that very recognizable Chavez pocket clip, the old generation with the screws up top. And so as opposed to the one with the screws internally where you can't actually see them, I would imagine that choice was because maybe people were a little bit less comfortable disassembling out the front. It's not 100% sure. I do prefer the screwless look, but it's definitely not a deal breaker for me. Also worth noting, a lot of Chavez knives, most of them come with a unbranded pocket clip for those that don't like the skull clip. This one does not. So if you're not a huge fan of the skull clip, you aren't gonna get that replacement in the box with this one. So definitely worth taking note of. Really great jumping here on the bottom. The switch is excellent. You can see that pyramiding on there that really grabs onto your thumb, very similar to what we see with a lot of OTF switches, but probably a little bit different and it feels great in hand. Now, if you watch my Blade Show haul video, you probably saw me struggling with that switch a little bit. I even mentioned it. I handled a lot of these at the show, at the booth, people that had picked one up, and mine had the heaviest switch of any of the ones that I handled. And so it was a little bit of a gamble. I knew that before I purchased it, but I figured I would be able to break it in over time. When I got it home after doing that video, I just threw some of the Heretic OTF lube on either side. I didn't put any on the switch directly, although some did uh, seep into the switch and it worked out within a minute. And now the action on it's excellent, really kind of a much lighter switch, really smooth and feels great. And so if you do that, just make sure you're using a lube that's made for OTS. It is gonna be a little bit less viscous than some of your regular lube. So if you're using something like KPL, go with the KPL Ultralight, or you can just pick up the Heretic OTF lube. It worked like a dream for me and didn't take too much. I just applied it to the sides on either side internally. And like I said, worked in very, very quickly. Now with that blade deployed, we're looking at a five inch overall length. So still very manageable in size. Really great ergos on this. Only gonna be a three finger grip in that kind of traditional grip with my thumb on the switch. My pinky does hang off the back side there, but this is a utility knife. So a lot of the times I'm gonna be kind of wrapped around a little bit differently and able to get all four fingers on there no problem whatsoever and so ergos on it are excellent and i think this is a really great working otf if you're comfortable using it it's got the one hand deployment one hand retraction you can pull it out of your pocket use it when your other hand is occupied put it back without ever having that second hand there 
The other nice thing about that is the blade swap on here. So that's gonna be a deal breaker for a lot of people if it doesn't have toolless blade swaps. And this one does, fortunately. I know some of my recent utility knives, I think the Civivi Elementum Utility, you need to have a screw or a Torx bit in order to swap out that blade. This one you can do all by hand. You see you have about an inch of that blade exposed. So once that goes to holes, you can just flip this around and then obviously you can swap it out once both sides are dull. In order to swap it out, super simple. You can see the this middle section kind of acting as a spring keeping everything in place all you have to do is push that aside in order to remove the blade and so I'll pull on this blade a little bit without pushing it aside you can see it's in there very securely as soon as you press that to the side you can pull it right out you can see how simple that was you do have to push that aside again to put it back in or it's not going to move and that's definitely a good thing it keeps everything nice and secure you can kind of feel it clicking into place at the end and you just want to test it once you put it back to make sure that's not going to come flying out on you and other than that we have this kind of housing for the blade that's pretty much the same size as the opening there so you don't get a lot of play all OTS or almost all OTFs are gonna have a little bit of play and you can see there is a minimal amount of play there, but nothing more than I would expect from your typical OTF and pretty minimal overall, not a lot of front and back play. It's almost exclusively that side to side play, which is great. And so really cool knife. I've been really getting into these utility blades and I think this is kind of the final boss version, especially when you compare it to the previous Chubb models. So this is actually, I think the third iteration, both of the previous iterations were manuals. One was an out the side, and the other wasn't out the front, but it was a manual out the front. So really cool to be able to get that double action. It's so fun and gonna be a great little user utility knife. Now, I don't actually carry this for work, so it's not gonna get that type of abuse, but it does seem to be very solidly built. And I think I'd be pretty confident with the blade change method that that's in there very securely, not gonna just kind of twist out of there, which was a little bit of a concern with the Ria XO. That one didn't leave me as confident, but the housing on this one seems ultra secure. So pretty confident that that will stay in there. But let me know what you think of this one down in the comments below. Definitely check it out. I'll try and link to at least one of the retailer sites. So maybe if you want to pick this up, it would be worth signing up for notifications. But again, I don't know exactly when it's releasing. I just figured I'd put a video out since I saw that those listings were going live. But again, would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments. If you plan on picking one up, which configuration you're gonna go with, there's different patterns and different colors available, a bunch of different ones. In fact, one of the other, the other non-crosshatch pattern, the switch wasn't anodized either, and so it had a regular looking switch. Again, these are aluminum, so I believe the switch is probably aluminum too. Possible it's titanium, but I don't think they've really mentioned that, so I would guess that that's also aluminum. But thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, or joining the channel as a member. They all help the channel out a ton, and as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.